I think a lot about the future, and I like to think about a future in which my children can look forward to the same quality of health care as I've enjoyed and my parents' generation have enjoyed. But when we think about the aging population and the demand on health care, it's very simple to imagine a future in which even modern hospitals like this one will simply become overwhelmed by the demand. My name's Jens Thies, and I'm a scientist in the medical field at DSM. So for the last four years or so, my uh, team and I have been working on ways to deliver medication to the eye, uh, particularly for chronic diseases that cause blindness like glaucoma. Uh, and the interesting scientific challenge, of course, is we're trying to make these implants degradable. So we're trying to make an implant that you can put in your eye that releases the medication for many months, and yet at the same time will slowly disappear and go away. And getting those two time frames right, so the time of the release of the drug and the degradation, it has been a big challenge. So the problem in glaucoma is that the liquid inside the eye, the clear liquid, builds up and the pressure rises. And this causes damage to the retina, but also the optic nerve. So the vision gets gradually worse and worse until one day the lights go out. And the way that people manage this disease today is to take eye drops every day for the rest of your life. And that's of course problematic because people don't remember or it ends up in the sink or on the floor. And our solution is to create a tiny implant which sits in the white tissue in the eye just above the eyelid and delivers the medication for about six months. Just as important as working on the right solutions is finding the right problems and I believe it's really important for us to be connected to the outside world, particularly to clinicians and, and patients, to find out what their problems are and how their lives and their jobs can be improved. Well, one of the things I've always loved about working as DSM as a scientist is that we have this huge network of, of capabilities and knowledge in the company and we were able to connect with physicists and biologists, our analytical colleagues and within two years we were able to create uh, an implant which is now going to be in human clinical trials next year which we're very proud about. More and more I think it's about falling in love with the problem not necessarily the solution because when you do that with all the great science we have in DSM if you're able to connect the problem with our community you'll be able to find the solutions that will revolutionize and change the way we deliver healthcare.